one show that we're going to do this year if i'm right am i right chris yes last but one. yes new one next year next week yeah we'll next do one week. next week um no win for the blues this uh this weekend a five uh, a good five gold drub in to be perfectly honest but there you go we are a championship side next year that's all that matters that's absolutely it and we've now got time to rebuild and to start all over again so the tilt and talk show is of course sponsored by boyle sports principal sponsor of birmingham city football club and in conjunction with accessory blues the blues trust our good friends at borty labor club sas autos and the garrison coffee company and we mustn't forget image cleaning thank you image Oh, all, all, all the best, Chris. All, all the best. I'll, I'll plug your business anytime, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we uh, at, the, at, the, at the start of the show, we we do know that Lee Bowie wasn't at the game on uh, Saturday uh, with family issues. We know what those family issues are, but we're not going to go into details because it's not our job. Um, we just want to wish him, his wife, and the family all the very best from everybody here at the Talk and Talk Show. I'm sure every listener, every watcher, and uh, every Birmingham City fan around the world. So there you go. There you go. Okay, so uh, Paul, your quick analysis on the game. Yeah, we were doing. We were doing. I mean, oh, I better introduce you first, hadn't I? Yes, Sorry, please. Mate. Yeah, you've got to come on. Paul Hipkiss, and we got Mr. Robe. Hey, hello, everyone. <laughs> and we got Mrs. Brown. Good evening. <laughs> We've got Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I got called that once or twice, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And special guest tonight, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute ledge of the club, the one and only Mr. Tony Coton. Woo 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 woo! Good evening, everyone. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, yeah. So sorry, Paul. Uh, quick analysis on the game. Yeah, so it's, it's it's almost like an extended pre-season, isn't it? He's giving the lads a chance that he hasn't had a chance to look at properly yet, and. You know, once once we were safe, then to me that's not an issue. But they were doing all right, to be fair. We got back to two two, and we just had a late, a bit of a late collapse, unfortunately. But now I think it's all good experience for the young lads to come into the team and experience first team football. And you know, we all know that come the start of next season, you know, the team that starts the next league game will be nothing like the one that started the last. But absolutely, at the same time, you know, it's all good. It's all good experience for them. So yeah, onwards and upwards. How about you, Steve? Yeah, it was an experimental side, obviously, um, and Lee said it was going to be. Um, so, I mean, you never like to lose a game of football, obviously, but we we, we know what he was trying to do, um, and it, hopefully, it's given him a little bit of a few pointers for the start of next season. You know, who's coming Correct. into the squad? Okay, cheers, uh, Paul. Uh, not Paul, uh, Mark. Um, pretty much what the other lads have said. Um, I think it does confirm that some just aren't good enough. I know it sounds pretty blunt, but. Um, yeah, I think there's some a few in there who would be looking to move on. Would you um, say I'm good enough or, or could possibly be worked on? I think a, a bit of both, Nick. I think there's a mm. couple in there who just aren't, they've had chance after chance at this level and just haven't cut it. Um, mm. Not naming names, but... No, no, so, no, no, you know. no, no. But uh, yeah, no, I think, um, yeah, I think it's like a, a pre-season, you know, it was like a pre-season game. And um, yeah. We're not, just nothing to play for, uh, Mark. Nothing to play for. We no, may as well like use ninety minutes as as an experiment. Yeah, it's like a it's like a like a friendly. Yeah, that's you know, and and like I say, the Lee will get all the the reports back and so on, and make his own mind up about who he wants to get rid of and who he wants to keep. But, Thank you very um, much. Thank you very much. And Tony, did you get to watch the game? I was there. He was there. I was the lucky one. How did you manage that? The- or well, the unlucky one. <laughs> yeah, the unlucky one. Probably. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 more luck than um, than uh, what's it this these days because of the COVID regulations. Being in the um, recruitment 
um, sort of line. That's my job. I applied for a ticket. Uh, and I was lucky enough to get one, or unlucky enough to get one, should I say. Uh, come on, it was only a practice match. Anyway, uh, you're on a Birmingham City show. Welcome to the show, uh, Tony, ex-Birmingham City goalkeeper. And right above your head is a Spurs shirt. That is Pat Jennings, my... Um, oh, my, right. I met him once. He got hands like spades, mate. I quite, couldn't believe it. Yeah, great that. big hands, yeah. yeah. <laughs> great yeah, keeper. So that, that, was my, uh, that was my era of growing up. Um and I've been fortunate in my career to meet lots of uh, different celebrities, sporting heroes, this, that, and the other. Um, and I have only collected two autographs. One's on the wall next behind me. And the other one is when I was at Blues, we played Liverpool. And if you remember it, lads, Muhammad Ali walked yep. around there, was oh. in a oh, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. mini on the pitch. Yeah. And mm. I got his. Wow. So they're the only two that I've collected of all the wow. people. It must have asked for yours as well, Tony. Of course. He must have, he must have, he must have, been, he must have been intimidated. See, Tony. Uh, Tony listen, Muhammad, to... Ali, Muhammad Ali just made a beeline, to be honest, for, um, for, for Big Blakey. Um, mm. And we just crowded around Blakey and just listened to the conversation, to be fair, what they, what they <laughs> about, really. I'm a lad of the 60s, Tony. And when we were told to go to bed, we had to go to bed. There were three times I could stay up. One, if Muhammad Ali was fighting. Number two, if the space uh, Apollo missions were going off. And number three, if Elvis Presley was singing live. Right? Uh, I saw Muhammad Ali at the Liverpool game. I've watched the space shuttle take off. And I've also opened Elvis Presley's front door. So well, the three things that I was allowed to do as a child, I've gone back and done in real life as an adult. Yeah, brilliant. If, mm. if nobody interested, I really don't care. But, you know, I just, just give you that little uh, bit of insight into my life. <laughs> well, I will sleep a lot better tonight knowing that. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> yes, I, appreciate, I appreciate the feedback, mate, honestly. <laughs> 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 so, Tony, what are you doing with life nowadays? Then, where, where do you live? Um, I'm up in the northwest, um, yep. and um, I'm back at Man United now on the recruitment side. Okay, just, cool. Sorry, cool. Yeah, <laughs> just um, just the goalkeepers. I just look after all the goalkeepers at the club. Nice one. Um, nice one. So, ins, outs, loans, whatever uh, we try and facilitate, and then just looking for the next. Uh, big stars in the goalkeeping world. What was it like? Yeah. What was it like being in goal at the full end of the tilt and when it was rocking? When it was rocking, um, it was magnificent. I mean, uh, certain certain games spring to mind. You've told me not to mention that team, mm -hmm. so I won't mention that team. You it. it just cost you a tenner. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. I, ain't got, I ain't got a tenner. You can just say B six. Just say B six. Yeah, B, B six okay. is. Uh, oh. Yeah, um, you know, we was, was fortunate to get on a, a couple of winning teams against them. The first time was uh, special and literally turning round and and um, seeing mates from school was so special. And from the estate that I, I was brought up in Tamworth was um, was just something else, you know, so. Superb. Wow. Tone, um, what, what are your recollections of the 1983 derby at Villa Park? You know, the one where they, they beat <laughs> us. Uh, oh, that's a fiver, Chris, I think. <laughs> yes. <Fair enough. laughs> uh, B6 Park, I should say. Yeah, yeah we'll have that. Um, the the yeah. old Blake's ending off at the end. Yeah, but oh. did, didn't, didn't you have the ball in your hands when Peter with... It, what it actually did, it. I think it was Pat Van passed it back. That's right, yeah, it was. We'd had a, we'd had a real downpour. Yeah. It was really um, wet, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and there, it, there was there was rumours that it was going to be off, you know. But then everybody had got to the ground, and they, they I think they they just thought that um, uh, for safety issues and all that, <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be better um, better playing it. But when you've seen some of the tackles that went in that day, then it should have ended five aside, shouldn't it? Really? Yeah, I don't think health and safety came into it. Um, but no, it actually, as he played the ball back, as I bent down, it, it literally stopped. Stopped, yeah. And he's just managed to poke it, and and that was it. And then Blakey missed the penalty, didn't he? And yeah. he, uh, he had one that was um, over the line, pretty yeah, much. If had, VAR had been now, I reckon that would have probably been given because he looked well no, over the line. Steve, Steve, yeah. Steve, we didn't even have a mobile phone then, mate. Exactly. <laughs> I hadn't invented it then. The Apple, uh, the, the Apple iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, and there was, there was 
lots of events happened <laughs> after the game, but we um, we won't go into that. But um, right, okay. All, all the um, all yeah. the myths and the stories that I think went round Birmingham and the um, up the Coventry Road and wherever um, uh, were true. <laughs> we, we won't we won't mention Mr. Gary Newborn that, that uh, he sort of got Blakey in trouble, I think, didn't he afterwards? Yeah. Like, with video oh, evidence right. after the game. Oh, yeah, come on, mention him because like I want to know what happened now. Yeah, go on. I don't know <laughs> oh, the story. We, 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 well, let, let's just say that Blakey at the end the of the game um, decided to and this, the views of Steve Job and Steve Job only. Let's yeah. just say that Blakey dropped the Glasgow kiss on Steve McMahon, shall we say? Right, okay. fine, uh, All right. The Glasgow that. kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a murder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Didn't 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 Newborn go on a one man crusade to get him done for it? it? He used the video evidence, Mark. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And of course, well, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was he was then in, in, anyway, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, am I right? Am I right in saying you saved the penalty on your debut for us as well, Tony? Yes, yeah. you are. I was uh, there, Tony. Yeah, I well, was an eight-year-old lad, yeah. I think, or a ten-year-old lad. So. Fifty after fifty-four seconds. Four seconds. Yeah. Um, I think Big Joe Gallagher handballed it, didn't he? You have done your own work, or you've got a blooming good memory. I tell you, <laughs> Wikipedia, Tony. <laughs> oh, was it? Was it? Uh, yeah, and in the in um, in their wisdom, my daughter's. Uh, one Christmas, bought me a number plate with TC fifty four pen. Oh, um, not excellent! Where... Tony, is that is that the fastest ever debut save of a penalty in the in the world? You know, I think full debut, um, obviously, but I think somebody has come on as a sub. Their keeper's got set no, off. Don't. No, no, I don't care. We'll, we'll take that record, mate. We'll hold on to that. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think that. It, still, it still stands. Super, oh, brilliant. That must be that must be a you know wow, what a moment, what a thought, what yeah. a memory. Um, I didn't even have time to think about it because the way the, my debut came around was um, Jeff Whelan's was was fit up until uh, twenty five past two. He mm -hmm. was fit, and then all of a sudden, apparently, his knee flared up. I was stood in the corridor by the changing rooms, and Jim Smith come out of the treatment room and. Uh, told me in unknown certain terms to to get ready and this that and the other and before I knew it, I was out on the out on the uh, at St Andrews and wow uh, it happened that quick and then all of a sudden I'm facing a, a blooming penalty. I think you went to your right, didn't you, Tom? You go to your right. Oh, yeah. you oh, why do you remember that? How do you remember that? What gloves and boots was I wearing? I've taken over the mantle from Paul, who knows everything. You know, uh, Paul knows. Me, uh, tell me this then. What state was me jockstrap in by that time? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, can we say jockstrap? Can't remember. I think so. I it's think only nice and close. Before the water shift. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Oh, God. Tony, this is going to be a funny one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. question, no, what, question. what a debut, though. You know. What oh, yeah. Debut. Yeah, yeah, it, all, it went downhill from there. <laughs> 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 I peaked too early. <laughs> so what year was your first game Tony uh, 80. 80 December the 27th 1980 oh two days after my birthday I'm not that oh, I've ever told God anybody God that sorry. before well I'll remember that now thank you very much me <laughs> and Jesus yeah, no problem I'll send you a card <laughs> <laughs> yeah Cra Craig's asking Tony um, can you ask Tony whether he um had any say in Foster's move to Birmingham and also whether Butland was close to a Man United move? Um, I'll ask this, I'll answer the second one first. No, he wasn't. Okay. Um, Jack Butland was never discussed. Uh, ben Foster was, we had, um, I had a hand in, in, I think Ben's gone on record really of, uh, of saying that I've had a hand in, in his moves and his, uh, in his career. Yeah. Um, First and foremost, obviously, Watford was one of my former clubs um, and they were looking for a keeper. The thing that we said when we when we signed Ben, because Sir Alex uh, Darren, his son was at Wrexham at the time and he'd mentioned it to, to his dad, who told me. So I went down and watched him a couple of times, uh, came back and I said, look, we've got a goalkeeper there. I think it'll, I don't think he's going to be too dear. He needs... He needs polishing up in certain areas, and um, 
he needs to go back out and play straight away. So before we'd even signed him, we'd set it up with with Watford that uh, he, he went out there. And then uh, the next thing was, you know, helping the club that I love, the Blues. Um, good man, good man. Sending him a, a top keeper, which I think yeah. he, he, he'd come and played for you, wasn't he? Uh, it's it's what, Tony, over the years, we've had some of the best keepers that you could oh, ever yeah. ever wish for. Yeah. We really, really oh, we have. have, yeah. yeah. They've been yeah. absolute quality. Absolute fantastic, yeah. yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, got a happy birthday. Got a happy birthday wish for you, Tony, for next week. Oh, thank you very much. There you go. How old are you next week, Tony? Oh, it's a big one. It's a, it's a big one, I know. It's a big one, yeah. Six o next week. Six yeah. Oh. Happy birthday for next week, mate. Paul yeah. Devlin's coming in. Yeah. Love comment from Paul Devlin, my favourite blues keeper ever, and a top bloke. Oh, I tell you this story about Dev. Go on then. So we so we both played at Blues, both both Blues fans, mm. uh, you know, to heart. Um, I attended the Watford Player of the Year. Um, I can't remember what year it was. I'm sorry, but I attended to present a trophy down there for. I can't even remember who I presented it to. Anyway, I got put on the same table as Dev, and Dev had been out all afternoon. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nothing let new, me, nothing new. Let, just let me say that the entertainment that Deb provided was <laughs> second to none. <laughs> I, bet. I would have paid a fortune to watch it. And all <laughs> that saying to me, as the night got on, further and further on, deeper into the night, and the more drink he had, all he kept saying to me, see, see, you're my favourite keeper ever. And you know what I remember most about you? And I'm thinking, penalty save or this game. He went, the Ansel's clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I kept saying, the Ansel's clock. When you played when the Ansel's clock was in the corner of the scoreboard. I, <laughs> I bet he's cringing now. You know what? I reckon that's in someone's back garden now. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't, <laughs> that, be, wouldn't that be great? Probably oh, Dev. I'd have it on my wall in here. Yeah. You know, people have got crush bars, you know, the old blue crush bars from the cop, you know. I've got like. a grill from, from right down the front where, like, where, where the rain and that run off. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Well, I've got a great big, uh, I've got a great big piece of summer and I don't know what it was. And the lad was walking down the street and he got the grill. And he says, oh, mister, would you swap this for that? And I said, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it was a George Foreman grill. But I'll tell you what, another 20 minutes and they would have needed to demolish that stand, was they? Because they would have just took it oh, no, yeah. It was wrecked, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Also, it used to be um, the posh seats, you know. <laughs> Tony, as an England fan as well, obviously, uh, with an England shirt on, do you think Dean Henderson's got a good chance of uh, starting in goal for England in the Euros this summer? Um, I'd like to think so. Um, I don't know. I, I think since sort of Gareth's been in charge, he seems to favour... Um, Pickford, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's, his, that's his third one. I don't know. Um, you know, it, it, I, I would imagine the three are going to be uh, Pickford, Anderson and Pope. What order? Yeah. I really don't know. I um, actually think Sam Johnston is a good keeper. So He's had a good yeah. season, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, he, had, he had a good upbringing, didn't he? I don't know who his coach was from, from, the, age of, <laughs> from the age of 11 to 16, was <laughs> <laughs> do you, Tony, do you put your face in Gareth Southgate as England's manager? Do I? Uh, who would you like to see the manager if if not? Because I think you've asked Probably. that question with with uh, a little bit of you're not too happy with that, are you? Um, no, he missed that penalty, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but tell me, who, who would you like as England manager? Uh, probably, probably a good friend of mine, Razor Ruddock. <laughs> oh, <right there. laughs> Good social. <laughs> <laughs> he imagine hope, be in the water bottles. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't play. I've been watching England even against San Marino. I just hope he doesn't play with the handbrake on too much. You know, two defensive midfielders against San Marino. You know, you'd like to think he's going to. As much as you know, it's all about opinions. You know, you had the yeah, yeah, you yeah. had the goals, Gerard Lampard situation years ago. This. You know now, now can you fit in Foden? Can you fit in Jack Grealish? Can you? You know it's yeah. it's, it, it's it's all that. I mean, yeah. I'm talking as an England fan now, not some somebody, yeah. um, you know, just because they're playing claret and blue. But yeah. um, 
you know, in terms of uh, Kanye, you know, it's, we have we have got some attacking flair footballers. It's about yes, it to store them because every other country, every other country uses them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just let them, let them go and play, let them express themselves, yeah, and you exactly. know, take the game, take yeah. the game to the opposition. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think Jude, I think Jude's got a good chance. I think Jude will be in the squad. Oh, yeah. I think he's even got a good shape of getting in mm. the team. You know, on, yeah. on current form. Mm. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, it'll just wait and see, innit? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's certainly exciting, though, isn't it? With the players we've got, it's it's, it's uh, yeah. certainly the best squad we've had for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be back in the pubs and uh, having a merry old pint inside. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can from the seventeenth. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's the question. Count, countdown with the minutes on the clock here. In front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, lads, the question mark with England is is uh, defensively, isn't it? Really, yeah. Against your Belgiums and um, you know your, your, your top sides, that's where he will try and probably play his two holding midfield players. You know, but I agree with yeah. you know. I agree with Paul that's, though against the, you know the, the lesser sides, you know. Yeah, that's a that's a tactical thing. That's what a manager yeah. has to do, doesn't he? He has to figure out what opposition, what uh, what strengths and weaknesses they have to to um, to you know counterbalance and put his side out to win that game. Mm-hmm. Tony, exactly. I promise, if he brings that trophy back home, I forgive him for that penalty miss. I will. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be over. It'll be it'll yeah. be an era that I, I I will be prepared to forget if it comes down with a trophy on the front of that coach. Mm. And the thing right. is, though, as well, the thing is, as well, we we got to a semi final of the World Cup, which yeah. suggests that we're not, a whisker, not a weren't we? Winning mm. it, I think. Yeah, you know? that's what I mean. I mean, I don't I don't get it's a little bit unjust the criticism sometimes because we can't be doing that that much wrong, can we? To get to the last four of the World Cup? No, we're not. I mean, no, I, I know we had we had the draw. I, I'm anyway. a little bit tongue in cheek in what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I, I am. I am a little bit tongue in cheek. Yeah. Of course, I want England to do well, and I'd and I'd love him. I'd love him to bring that trophy back, mm. right? And then yeah. all can be forgiven and forgotten, and uh, yeah. you know, I can I can move on with my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think with me that that game when he missed the penalty, it always haunts me. Gascoigne sliding in and missing the ball by about that much. Yeah. About all, inch, yeah. I, I'm never know where he didn't get on the end. I think mean, yeah. week four, Paul, in a metro, right, in a mini metro, left it at uh, Calais, got the hovercraft over because we had hovercrafts back then. Really? Yeah, <laughs> into Calais. There was me and my ex-wife's brother. And we bought, I, I have never seen so many boxes of beer. And we were like lifting two of them up the street 10 yards, coming back for another two, going back for another. Mm. And it took us about an hour to get back to the, <laughs> the port around the corner. And we got a moment, we put them all in, in the back of the metro. And I ain't joking, the wheels were nearly off the road on the way back home. <laughs> and we, we stacked them up in the house. And it went up to the ceiling twice in, in them little bottles of beer, yeah? Now, all I remember, when he missed that penalty, my, my ex missus was at work that night, and uh, she came home, and I'm up against the lamppost outside, crying my eyes out. <laughs> she went in. Well, I got, got all the street in. All everybody was in our house, mate. And she removed nine bin bags of bottles. Put a wench. Nine bin bags of bottles. Oh, Tony, let, let, let's take well it. Let, sorry, sorry, Nick. Yeah, so Tony, if we can take it right back to the beginning, then were, were you sort of spotted as a you know, in, in, in like an academy or did you come through? Was it no, a school? Or? It was, um, it, it was um, completely different in them in them days, Paul. It was, yeah. um, uh, you know, you, you signed schoolboy forms at 14 to 16. Yeah. No, no, no academies or anything like there is today. Who and would then, you sign for? Sorry? Who had you signed for at 14? No one. No. Nobody, right? No, no, no. no one. I was training at Wolves. <laughs> Another bad word. Um, and then, um, <laughs> and then, um, so you, so a schoolboy then would earn in them two years trying to earn an apprenticeship, mm. um, which then was sixteen to eighteen uh, to get a pro. That's how it worked. Those, yeah. those, those are, and then, obviously, the more talented ones um, signed a pro earlier. Uh, this, this, that, and the other. So um, I was at Wolves. They, they, they released me. Um, I started playing non-league. I'd already been playing men's football on a Sunday morning, men's pub football, since I was 14. Yeah. So I'd had the upbringing of, of sort of being able to look after myself in, in, a, in, in the right way, that way. Um, and then I went to Villa 
Ten pounds. Yeah, Who'd you, uh, you go to, Tone? Yeah, so you're not <laughs> getting me again. You're unwashed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, what's the charity, by the way? Uh, Pig TSD. Pig TSD, yeah. Pig TSD. Pig TSD, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, um, so, I went there, and then um, uh, they wanted to sign me on a non-contract basis and play in their youth cup team and this, that, and the other. And then um, you've obviously not read my book, so uh, <laughs> that should be a fine for all of you. <laughs> it should be, yeah. Uh, because in my book, I tell you exactly what happens. Um, I go back to the digs. I'll tell you in- what, there's no fine. Just send us a, a signed copy. <laughs> okay, no yeah, problem. Right. Where, was you, where was you when I did the signing in the club shop? Oh, <laughs> well, that's, that's I think back, back at you now. Back at us, that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that, I was at, the, I was at Jeff Whelan. <laughs> the, the queue was the queue was that big outside, Tony. I missed the kick off. Yeah, same, same as me. Same the as chip me. shop. Yeah. That was the chip shop. You were in the wrong queue. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, anyway, um, I had a bit of a dust up in the digs. I rang my dad and um, I said, "Come and get me." Uh, he gave me an, an enormous telling off as he drove me back to Tamworth. You're throwing your chance away, this, that, and the other. I then started playing for Milo Rovers in the Midland combination. Mm-hmm. And then next minute, uh, the manager, Roger Powis, just said to me, um, Birmingham want to have a look at you, a week's trial. I went down, trained with the youth team, played in a game at Northampton that we won 2-0. Then they said... Um, we'll keep you on for another month. I did okay in, the, in that month, trained with the first team a few times, played another game. And then they said, right, we'll sign you till the end of the season. That was Jim Smith. Um, and then I had another season playing for the, for the youth team, cut the reserve games. And then there was a lad called, I was in digs in Sheldon with a lad called Terry Good, who was a little striker. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think he played one first team game for, mm-hmm. for, for us. And, um, and then uh, we got called in, Jim Smith called us in and said, look, we don't think you're going to make it. Uh, we're releasing you. Mm-hmm. So absolutely distraught because here's me dream of playing for Birmingham City, a uh, team that I supported, um, this, that and the other, and it was all, all gone. Yeah. I went home, uh, Told me mum and dad, my dad said, right, pick yourself up, um, you know, and let's, uh, and let's see what's around the corner. Um, I then got a phone call saying that the youth team were going to Germany and playing in two tournaments, one in Mannheim and one in Dortmund. Um, did I want to go? I didn't really, but I hadn't been abroad. So I thought, right, OK, I'll go. I rang uh, Terry at home and I said, have you had the phone call? He went, yeah. He said, what should we do? Should we just go and mess about? And I went, well, let's just go and, and see. Our entire messing about, really, was probably throwing a couple of water balloons out of out the hotel that passes by, and that's as far as it went. <laughs> um, and then um, we knuckled down. We played the first tour- tournament in Dortmund, at, um, at, and the, we got to the final. We got beat by Coventry in the final. Mark Dennis was in our team. Pat Van Der was in our team. Oh, um, <laughs> Ian Andy Sides. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, and then we went on to um, uh, Mannheim. And Mark Dennis and Pat Van Der uh, left us there. They didn't come on to the second part because they'd already been in our first team. And um, we won that tournament. We beat Stour Bucharest in the final. Terry got top goal scorer. And I got goalkeeper of the tournament. Superb. I was at home two weeks later. And I remember I was cleaning my dad's car outside. And my mum opened the front door and she went, Birmingham City on the phone. I went in, Jim Smith. Heard you've had a great tournament. Um, uh, I think we might have been a bit hasty. Come in, come in uh, on Monday. He said, we'll give you... What an absolute gentleman to do that, though. Oh, yes. An absolute... You know what I mean? Because he could have just Mm -hmm. bit his tongue and said, I've made my decision. So, uh, Tony, just, just one thing. To your right-hand side, there's a lot of sunlight. Yeah, yeah, through. it's coming through. Uh, it's coming back to me. Shut your curtains or something, mate. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, How's that's that? better. That's better. That's better. Yeah. That's a bit. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's oh, great. Hey, he's got a complexion now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not that ugly. So, so um, you know that that's what happens. Mm. I signed, and then um, Jim Jim. Uh, I made obviously I'd made me I made my debut, and then the end of that season I think it was I can't remember exactly but Jim got uh, got the bullet. Ron Saunders come in, and it was like, boom, well, my career took off under Ron. Yeah, mm. brilliant. Mm. Wow, well, well, well. and it must have been amazing when you think your dreams are over for it to suddenly you know all happen so fast and he's back on again. Mm. I'm not yeah. I, listen. I'm not. Uh, big enough and, and proud enough to say I didn't shed a tear. I did. Oh, I cried every day, mate. Yeah. And yeah. all I kept looking at, the first thing I did when I signed for, I remember it as clear as anything, because I used to travel in with um, uh, Steve Fox and Mick Rathbone. From, yeah, yeah. From I remember Steve Fox. Did he have curly hair, Steve Fox? Yeah, he was a winger. Yeah. 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 He's, he's, he's Paul? Passed, he's passed Paul? away yeah. now, unfortunately. I've remembered some of it. <laughs> you know? He's not been drinking. He's not been drinking, that's what it is. Oh, he is. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. It's only Coke. Yeah. What's in the Coke? That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a few few questions Come in, uh, Tony. Uh, one from Ray says, questions for TC. Um, if you hadn't stayed in football in your playing career, what job would you have pursued? He means after your playing career. After? Yeah, um, what would you have what would I have, mm. What would I have done? Um... I don't know. I, I couldn't have done anything, Andy, because I'm useless. Yeah. Um, you know, so, I, you know, I have to get people <laughs> to do anything. Um, uh, what would I have done if I had stayed? I, to be honest, I never even thought of that um, because yeah. it was all I ever knew. Yeah, yeah. And all um, you wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was crap yeah. academically at school. All I wanted to do out was get out and... And play sport. That's all I want. You to. are not alone. No, you know, uh, no. uh, another one from so, me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, in answer to Ray's question, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> you know, I'd have found something, but um, I'm trying to think what I would have been good at. It's, it's not a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know really. Yeah. I've never, never, me been, I've never been asked that question. Right. Um, so I've never even thought about that. To be right. honest. Question, question from, from me, then, Tony. Whose boots did you clean? Whose boots did I clean when? Well, normally it was um, uh, goalkeepers looked after goalkeepers. Okay, right. Oh, okay. So uh, that's how, that's how they used to do it. So uh, I remember going in, and it was um, Jeff Whelan's and Neil Freeman were right. were were the two. And Neil Freeman's were used to take me twice as long to clean one of Neil Freeman's boots. <laughs> <laughs> about fourteen. Um, so um, yeah, that was okay. um, that was the two that I remember. And then uh, who cleaned your boots? Uh, David Coles used to clean my boots. I don't know. Okay, I never heard of David Coles. Was, 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 yes, was another keeper. Um, and Colesy is a goalkeeping coach now. He's had a good uh, goalkeeping coaching career. Um, He's worked at England and, and, and various clubs. Um, uh, he's a good friend of mine, uh, Colsey. So Colsey um, used to do my boots. Um, oh, and, and of course, nowadays, they don't clean them, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> uh, wipe them with a wet cloth, haven't they? Yeah. No, there's, yeah. No dub, there's no dubbing yeah. or polish that we used uh, to do. And everything's done for him, isn't it? You know, no no dubbing for years, mate. Uh, <laughs> for donkey's years. Yeah. There's no uh, no cleaning the showers, sweeping up, doing all yeah, that. That's doing. right. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mark Mark Holland on YouTube says, uh, "Did you ever consider running a pub or buying a sports shop?" Um, no, I, I I invested in a pub in Tamworth uh, with my mates, mm. um, which was the worst thing I ever did because knowing my mates as uh, as I do, I should have I should have known. That the profits would have just <laughs> rank, yeah. um, and, and having lock-ins and and all that. So, um, so I tried that one. Um, what was it? What was the second? What did he say? Sport uh, or a sports? No. Yeah. Yeah. Sport no. no, not really. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I've always fancied. To be fair, I've always fancied being a caddy for a pro golfer. That's what <laughs> I've always. 
That's What's it always does? Because I, I play, I play uh, golf to a average level, but I, I used to work. I used to live in uh, in Dubai. I got a job out in Dubai later in my career, and, and um, uh, there was a couple of pro golfers lived in the complex where I was at. So I got access to the tournaments in in Dubai, yeah. and I used to sit with the with the uh, caddies and listen. <laughs> The different stories of the different players that they'd um, caddied for and how mentally one was different to another one you know just like oh, okay. just like footballers really um and um i just i looked at i watched the golf last night and what i was watching rory and this that and the other i was just listening to what the caddies say to them because the mic's that close to them now you can hear yeah. the information what they're they're giving out and um you know i just thought what in normal circumstances? What a job that is traveling the world, always, mm. always in the sun, always in the good weather. Um, Unless, so, of course, you're playing at St Andrews. Hey, yeah, I'm playing in England or <laughs> yeah. down at Celtic Manor. Um, Up in Stoke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Bidolf. 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 That's yeah, it. Nice. So, really, really rough so, um, so yeah, so that, that that might have been something that I'd. Uh, I'd have had to go to caddy school for that, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> question from Mick Greaves. It says, Tony, when you were playing, who was your toughest player to play, play against? Was it Ian Rush or a Graham Sharp type of player? When you when you say toughest, do you mean in toughest physically or toughest in? Um, let's go. Let's um, go. Let's go physically. Physically, mm. uh, without doubt, my best mate, Mick mm. Arford. Oh. Mickey Arford, yeah. Oh, big. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's not many best mates ring you up when you're playing against them, telling him he's going to give me stick. <laughs> <in the room. laughs> and yeah. and actually doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a big lad. Four stitches in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But I didn't expect anything else. Mm. Um, so physically, Mick Billy Whitehurst was another one. Um, oh, yeah. If you remember, was, yeah. If you remember Billy Whitehurst, um, and then. I would probably say for a goals ratio or someone that was always there, you only had to spill it an inch and he was his toe was there was Ian Rush. Right. So quick in the box, yeah. So um so those two really. Yeah. Chris Brown. Nicholas. Uh, I have I've only got access to one phone again tonight, mate. Okay. There was a message I saw come through from uh, Roy the photographer. Yeah. Can oh. you find, uh, ask uh, Tony the, the relevant question, please, buddy? Okay, if you give me uh, uh, two seconds, because I have got Sorry. it, honestly. If he sends me okay, the phone, so he's promised me. I have you, got you, it, made, yeah. you made your debut for Blues, right? Okay. And that, that came around oh so quick, because you were like not expecting to play that game. Yeah. As a Birmingham City fan, walking out of that tunnel with that Ansel's clock to your right-hand side, or did you come out the centre tunnel then? You come out the centre. That was a long walk down there, I don't know, wasn't it? Yeah, it was past the D club. Well, well, yeah, one of the longest walks in <laughs> football, apparently. I, um, I swear but, on my but, life now, gospel truth, because my dad wouldn't have known because it happened all so late. My dad, I used to, I used, my dad used to come into the ground with me. My dad used to go in the D club, hmm. um, and he was with my brother-in-law uh, that day. As I'm walking up the tunnel, I wanted to run into the D club and say, "Dad, I'm playing." You know <laughs> what I mean? Because I know he wouldn't have gone out. Uh, until he'd had his quota, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean, right, and go out right on kickoff. So, um, I just remember that. And then the first thing that hit me was I'd played there obviously with the youth team, I'd played at an empty St Andrews in the football combination. Was how close, how smaller the pitch looked with the crowd in. Mm. That was the one thing that hit me, right? Know? Right. Oh, it, you know, it looked so narrow and a little bit longer. But um, so that that was the first thing that sort of went went through my head. One, I wanted to run in the D club and tell my dad I was playing. And uh, and two, when I actually got to the railway end, um, was looking up and thinking how much smaller the pips look. Oh, really? Mm. Okay, this... Now, as Birmingham City fan, though, right through and through, that moment when you actually cross that white line. And the crowd are on your side, obviously. Uh, what? Well, I, I, I mean, look, I'd love it's to. Still, there's all things that go I'd through, flip, Nick. Tony, I'd, I'd love to flick a burger in one of the stands and serve it to somebody just so I could get a wage that the Birmingham City crest on it. I'd love <laughs> it. Yeah. Anything. I'd do anything, right? But as a professional, right, you're now walking out to the team that you've watched and adored all over those years. 
and now you're part of it. How did that feel? Well, it's the best feeling ever. The, oh. the times, the time, once I'd signed for Birmingham. Goosebump mm. alert. Sorry? <laughs> Goosebump alert. <laughs> Dream come true, isn't it? So, <laughs> so once, once I'd... Um, once I'd signed for Blues on a regular basis and my trial period was over, I don't know, I can't count how many nights I used to lie there, think, will I ever make my debut for Blues? Will I ever play for the first team out there? Mm. And then I used to recount all my mates from school and, and living near me who were Blues fans. Will they ever get to see me play for the Blues? And Literally, when you when you, you do go out, those things did happen. I wanted to run in and I wanted to tell my dad the pitch looked smaller. Then I've saved the penalty after fifty four seconds. Did your dad see that? Huh? Did your dad see that penalty save? Yes. Yeah. He was, he was he was up he was up in time. Um, somebody he told me after that somebody had ran in and said your son's in the team and he he'd leave, he even left a full pint. I think he said. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah. and, and ran upstairs <laughs> and um, so as a goalkeeper as the ball's getting moved around the pitch and it's up the top end and you, you've got a corner four or whatever there's so many things that can go through your head For the first and foremost is please don't make a mistake please don't let the, let the team down <laughs> don't let the supporters down or if I, let, if I make a mistake you know when I go back to Tamworth, it's going to people reminding me of the state. They won't remind. They won't remind me of my penalty save that I just made. But I did feel ten feet tall because I made it. I'd saved a right. penalty with my first touch on my debut for the team that I adored. So I did feel. I did feel special. This that and the other. Never. Never. Um, you know, sort of went too far out. No, all I kept thinking was, don't make a mistake. Concentrate. Talk. Uh, this that and the other. Um, and 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 pretty much that's how it it panned out. And then I went into the into the players' lounge after the game. Obviously, the the press and all that that was new to me. I hadn't seen any of that side of it. Everybody wanted to get a quote. Everybody wanted to uh, sort of get get a piece of you. Mm. Um, so I said the the normal things. You know, I don't think I said I'm over the moon and the old cliches or, or anything <laughs> like that, but. Um, so I, I did that. I went in the players' lounge and everybody's sort of looking at you from this kid that stands in the corner most home games, <laughs> um, you know, with his dad and his brother-in-law to now I'm a first team, I've played in the first team. Like they're all looking set like this, that and the other. My dad comes up to me. He's got he's got a pint in, in his hand. He said, here, yeah, son, get that down your neck like that. And I went, dad, dad, oh, unbelievable. He said, oh, no. What a start. I said, no, no. He went, yeah. I, I said, Dad, I've had a steak. I had a steak for pre-match meal. <laughs> I, mean, I went, I've had a Philip steak. I've never, we'd never, I'm off a council estate in Gilway in Tamworth. We'd never, had a, we'd never had a steak before. Raised beef slices we might have had. On a, yeah, on a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we would spam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fish paste. Uh, and I just kept saying, I've had a Philip steak. I've had a Philip steak. He went, I'm not bothered about your Philip steak. He went, what about it? <laughs> so, there, there's him talking about my penalty save. And all I wanted to talk was the fact that I'd had a Philip steak. Brilliant. <laughs> So four seconds in, there you are. All right, the ball's been spotted. Were you at, were you at the main stand end or the tilt end? Was it the railway end? Railway end, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm at the railway. Um, you got all them fans behind you. What's going through your head? Fifty four seconds into your first game. Well, there were, honestly, up until really into certainly the mid nineties for 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 me, there was no. Uh, analysts, nothing that you could look back on. Um, it was Gary know, Noob on. Um, <laughs> if, yeah. if once I got in the team and teams were coming on match of the day or whatever, I'd put the video in and I'd, I'd record it in case there was a penalty or a certain free kick. Mm -hmm. And when then when they were coming, I used to label it and do that. But now, obviously, analysts, they tell you how many, is, is it 15 penalties to that side? Is it that, this, that and the other? <laughs> And I don't know whether that can confuse a keeper at some times, when, especially when a player mixes his penalties up. Mm. You know what I mean? It can confuse. Anyway, I just he, he he puts it down, he runs up, and I, and I'd had a pretty good record with with the youth team and reserves and in my junior career with penalties. 
And I just thought, there's no way he can open up now and put it to my left, just with his run. I thought, he, 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 you know, and as I say, I went the right way, full stretch, and and it just went around the post, lucky enough. And the crowd went wild. As they say, yeah. Tony, can I ask a question? Did you, yeah. did you, keep, did you um, keep anything from your debut? Did you keep your shirt or anything? No, uh, unfortunately, I'm one of those that look back now and think, Christ, I wish I'd have kept. I wish yeah. I did. I, I used to literally give everything away. Uh, I could have shown if if you did if I'd have been on last week. I could have shown you a memento that I got, which yeah. is in the cabinet. But we move out next week, so everything's oh. oh, right, okay. <laughs> uh, so um, I thought you uh, just got no furniture. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Can you send us your address? Giving your furniture away. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So to be fair, they bought they bought some of our furniture. Off. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, no. um, so um, yeah, I can't um, I can't uh, I can't show you that. But um, no, there's very very little. I had um. In fact, it might be in the loft. In a suitcase, I had a Patrick track suit when we were Patrick. Um, so in these days, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah um, very little from my career. I, I gave a lot away. I give it all to charity, to be honest. Yeah. Nice. Well, at least I went to a good course. <coughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Got, the, um, got, got the question from Roy. Right. Um, oh, right. Yeah, not yeah. to that. Thank you. <laughs> so do you want to do, do, do it, Chris? I've got, it, I've got it here. So, um, so did you, it's a did you know question, uh, Tone. Um, did you know that you want, are one of only four all-time favourite Watford players that Elton John chose in a recent podcast interview? What an honour. Mm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't even go there, lads. No, I've got the answer. <laughs> Don't even go there. I've got the answer to it, and um, I guess that's why they call us the Blues. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hey, I am actually on one. Of, I am actually on one of his uh, uh, videos that's been on top of the pops. Okay. Uh, oh, which one? Nikita. Really? Oh, are you? Oh yeah. Fame. You see, and it, we're playing West Brom, and we beat West Brom five-one that day. And I actually are folly one of the balls down, and I think Colin West brings it down and scores. Um, um, but uh, no, I didn't know that, and I want to know, Roy. Uh, <laughs> please, where can I get it from? Where can I see it? Yeah. Um, because um, that is um, that's special. That's that. something and special. Does he, tell you the, yeah. does he tell you who the other three are? Obviously, Luther will be one of them. John Barnes possibly two. Maybe Robert. What about Robert? Yeah, uh, Robert, yeah. So I don't know. Tommy Mooney? Tommy no, Mooney, no. Robert. Mm. So, Roy, uh, okay. Uh, you know what we're going to do, Roy? Uh, sorry, Roy. We're going to put the message out to Roy and ask him to get back to us. Yeah, um, we can have a link. I'd like to listen to that as well. Yeah. I know, Roy. And he, I, Roy. Is Roy watching or is he just sent Oh, he'll message? be watching, yeah. yeah. For, Roy, Roy, yeah. where's my golf photographs from the Blues golf day? <laughs> Very intimidating. <laughs> He's also asked as well for us to wish all our fans a, a good summer and hopefully he'll see us all back at St Andrews uh, soon. He just asked me to say that on his behalf as well. Yeah, it's it's good, wouldn't that be nice, mate? Wouldn't that be nice? Good lad. He's a good lad. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Enjoyed... Have you have you got a video? Is there a video of that that fifty four second penalty save? Nothing. I don't think phone, so. Like, Ladies and gentlemen of the Tilton Talk Show. We are now appealing for the video, and we've done this, and it came <laughs> through. Came through yeah. Cafe Pacific. Came through we are appealing to anybody who may have a video of the 54-second Tony Coton save. Please get in touch. And because if what would has Nick, it, <clears throat> Nick, I what think I know we might have it. Gary if Newborn. Anybody has got it. I <laughs> yeah. will. I will donate some money to uh, their charity of the choice. Super. Yeah. Fair yeah. play, fair play. Steve, so let's come on to you. Let's come on, let's, no, let's don't come let us down on this now, guys. No, no. I was just going to say that, uh, Paul, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go, Steve, go let's come on to you, mate. So, how long you you obviously growing up supporting the Blues? What, what, can you remember what your first game was and who's your favourite ever player? <clears throat> um, first game was August 78 um, and it was Middlesbrough at home. Lost 3-1. I think, that, I think that was a pre precursor to the uh, misery to follow, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it really? yeah, 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 yeah. That was a, definitely a wild um, Yeah, but my dad used to take me. Uh, eight years old I was. Um, Where did you stand? 
I used to go in the posh seats, Nick, which is the main oh, stand. That used to be the posh seats, didn't I it? Another one. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was at that game. <laughs> Were you, Tony? I was, yeah. that game. Yeah. I was on the cop. You were watching yeah. it on the cop, yeah. Jim oh. Platt would played in goals for Middlesbrough that day. Jim Platt, yeah. yeah. He played for Ireland, didn't he, I think? So I was at that game. But now I... Um... I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> But I've had a I've had a season ticket for years. I think we went from like seventy eight to eighty two, then had two years off, and I went from eighty four all the way up to twenty thirteen nonstop. Right. Um, yeah. So I'd seen a few managers come and go. Yeah, and favourite player in all that time, Frank Worthington. Paul. Oh, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Frankie. Um, he, he could just do anything with the football, um, and he was a scorer of quality goals. You know, some of the goals he scored. Unfortunately, um, cameras were only at one or two games each week. Tony mm. will know this and, you know. Yeah. Scored the winner on my debut. Got my first win bonus in the professional football. How much oh, was yeah, it? Yeah, that was the... Uh, yeah, 120, £125. Pound. Oh, wow. that's, not, that's not too win bad. Bonus. That ain't too bad. A lot of money then, I should think. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than Chris Brown gets in a month. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was on, I, was, I think I was on 80 quid a week then. Yeah. Oh, even that's more than I'm on... But no, Frank could do um, he could do tricks with a football. He could like flip it up. I remember one goal against Southampton. I think it was about 1981. Um, it was sort of about 25 yards out at the railway end, and he literally just flipped it up and he volleyed it left footed into the corner um, yeah. out of nothing. You know, he, he was capable of doing that. You've definitely um, read my book, Steve. Mm. You what, Tony? Sorry? <laughs> You've definitely read my book or the chapter on Frank in it. Do, do you know what, Tony? I'm, I'm actually 51 in about three weeks, so I can ask the missus. You, to Cliff, Cliff so Richard, you, you don't look at all. Don't <laughs> really? No. 51. 51. Yeah, yeah. Roy, yeah, yeah. Roy, Roy's just sent in a message, <laughs> Tony, just saying, um, <laughs> tell TC I'll dig the Elton podcast out and I'll send him the golf pictures as well. So that's from uh, Roy yeah. Photographer. Oh, cool. I knew it was worth coming on. Yeah, you go. <laughs> that's all we want is this video. Come on, people. Somebody must have this video somewhere in their archives. Please, we've actually it. dig it out. <laughs> we've actually to do. Get it we've, actually to do a, we've actually to do a one to eleven, Tony, from the players you played with for us. Have you done? Well, well that were, that wasn't the um, that wasn't the actual message, was it? At five o'clock when I got it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when I'm I was. I'm in knee deep in work from stuff at work. And then I looked at my phone and it says, have you managed to do to your one to 11? And I said, well, is it teams that I played with or is it teams, uh, players from past? So I think the message was go with whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> apart, That'd be interesting. Apart yeah. from now, listen, this is where I'll need your help here because obviously the greatest goalkeepers that have played for Birmingham, obviously you go, you, you don't look past Gil Merritt, but I've never ever seen Gil Merritt play as long as, as, as mm. same as his goals. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it, if you're talking about Blues goalkeeper that I saw, um, then I would probably have to go. I don't know how well Dave Seaman did when, because he followed me when I left. Mm, mm. Um, and then and Ben Foster. So I can't see past those two really. And then I've gone for a 4 3 3 formation. Yeah. And I've gone for a, a really rugged, tough back four. Yeah. So I've got gone for Pat Vandenau at right back. Ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. who could play anywhere, by the way, and play and did play anywhere for Blues. Um, you know, centre half, left back, midfield. Uh, then I've gone, and there's certain people in here that I don't necessarily like, but <laughs> as players, um, and I'm not, I'm not saying which ones they are. So Kenny Burns, centre back, alongside yeah. Colin Todd and Mark Dennis. Now, what a back four that is! Oh, I mean, Colin bad. Todd was a Rolls Royce, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know whether you want to say anything about those players or you just listen to me team first. No, we'll, listen, we'll carry on, carry on, Tim. Well, I was yeah. just going to ask you if you played with all that back four. Did you play with every one of them? No, I'll tell you the story. So, I played with Pat Van, yeah. and yeah. I played with Toddy, and I played with Mark Dennis. Okay. And, um, I didn't play with Kenny, but I played, I have. With, I played against Kenny, mm -hmm. and he actually kicked me where he shouldn't have kicked me for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just no reason. But he brought me down to my knees. And in fact, um, 
I did get my own back, but it's in the book. Right, okay. I'm not trying to sell me book, but I don't want to play <laughs> on it. Um, it goes on YouTube. Oh. I think, don't I? I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, I do get my own back on him, and it yeah. is in the book. Oh. So, yeah. um, so um, <laughs> but if you want to wait, lads, if you want to wait, I think in uh, September the paperback version is coming out. Oh, right, okay. With an updated chapter. Yeah, okay. That's okay, awful. Okay, so that's, that's your, so right. who's in net, sorry? Was it, um, who's in goal, sorry, did you say? David Seaman? Um, well, I couldn't decide out of Seaman or Foster, to be honest. Um, so I think Foster probably had the better Blues career, did he? Mm, yeah, I would have said so. Longer. Yeah, yeah so let's go mm, for Ben. Mm, yeah. Okay. Then we've got Pat Van, and obviously I've come through the youth team with Pat, so I know Pat, um, you know, psycho Pat. Mm -hmm. uh, Burnsy, uh, Toddy and Mark Dennis. And then I've yep. got three in midfield. This is where I'll need your help because I've got a blank on on, on one of them. So um, the three are, or the two that I've got so far is Archie Gemmell's in there. Yeah. And, um, I didn't play with this one, but I thought he was absolutely magnificent for the Blues. Christophe Dugary. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. uh, I've got him there playing ahead of the, of the two in, in midfield. Um, I'm still looking, searching for a, that other one in midfield. And then the three up front, um, I've obviously got Mick Hartford as the striker. And yeah. either side of him, I've got Trevor and I've got Frank. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Great choice. Yeah, it's a lot of flair players. Right. We're going yeah. to win the league. A lot of flair players. A lot of flair players there. A lot of flair players. Your midfielder, is it someone recently or is it someone from. No, we're football, missing. You know? mm. So again, we haven't got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm missing it. I just, I was oh. racking my brains yeah. and I'm thinking, right, who have I missed? Who have I missed? Okay. Okay. So you got. I mean, I, 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 Dev, I mean, Dev, I didn't see you play, Dev. Sorry, mate. You know, he's going, I mean, he's going there. He's going me, 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 me. Dev, Dev, get sit there. I hope he's sat there with his blue shirt. On. <laughs> he will be. Yeah, he will be. So yeah. um, the guy's name Ansel's Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Come on, give us a recommendation. I said, I said, so, you know, what I'll have Kevin, Kevin Dillon. So. Kevin Dillon. Mick Mark, Arthur, I spoke to Mick Mark Arthur Ward. earlier and he said Dillon. Mark Ward, mm. Barry Ferguson, Mark Ward. Oh, yeah. I'd go for Wardy. I played with Wardy at, at Man City. Mm. Um, Wardy was brilliant. I think Ferguson oh, yeah. was to my mind. Uh, Sav Robbie Savage. Um, yeah. You know... Uh, I mean, we've had some great players, haven't we? Martin yeah. O'Connor, Brian, Brian, in my time, I can only go by my time, obviously. Brian um, Hughes, yeah. yeah. Brian Hughes, another one. Yeah. yeah. I, I, th Bayer. Th I think as, as we have to put this, we have to put the team up at the end of the show. I think we need to pick one. So I think, oh, I, think, right. our, no, I, think no, I think Chris, our guest, I think our guest, Chris, our fan guest, Chris, you've got it. it wrong. You've got it wrong, mate. We had one sent off as it was coming out the tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Hang <laughs> on, we're missing, we're forgetting about check in, do not we? Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Am I picking no. that then? Kevin Dillon. Kevin Dillon. Okay. Kevin Dillon. Good choice, Tony. Yeah, right. Kevin Dillon, yeah. Kevin Dillon, yeah. Kevin Dillon over Tebbley. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Tony, going back to Mick Harford, Big Mick, he was absolutely fantastic in the air and he, he could play on the deck as well, you know. He could. Yeah. yeah. I mean, big big uh, Mick, you know. Because he went to Luton, didn't he? And he had to play on the plastic pitch when he went to Luton. When, when yeah. He um, he st didn't stop him there. Um, no, no. Um, you know, he's, he's still, um, he still attacked the ball um, like a man possessed. You know that. But I, yeah, I'd say he's the best header of the header of a ball I've I've seen at Blues. And a man Definitely. mounting, a man mounting still. A bit before, a bit before my time, but I've said Djokovic is mine in my time. Like a head uh, you know what? Heady goal. Yeah, Paul, I'd say I'd say Big Mick was even better than Juki in the oh, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I would say anyway. I would, I would agree with that. Not because yeah. he's best mate, but. <laughs> and who would be your manager, be Tony? Please, uh, Ron, Ron Saunders, Ron Saunders, and, and captain, captain. Um, let me have a look at that. I oh, would that probably, I'll probably go with uh, Archie Gamble. Yeah, okay. I, I was going to say yeah. that. I've heard a lot. I've heard, I've heard a lot about every one of them players. Paul, I tell you what, the fact that you didn't see little Archie play, mate, I tell you what, you really have missed out on something mm. because. You know, them days were proper. They were absolutely... They were just 
They were just mountains and they would just run through you, every single one of them. And to be honest, Nick, that, we, we were getting Archie at the back end of his career, weren't we? we, we were, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We the best of him when he was at Derby and, and Forest. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I think I, Jim signed him when he was 32, didn't he? Or 31, 32. He about two foot six and a half, wasn't he? He went very, yeah. he went very small. <laughs> no, he went very small. <laughs> By the way, I did mention my book. There's another chapter in there about Archie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Right, Tony, please. Plug your book. We all need to know what it's called, where it's available from. If it's uh, still available. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know whether it's still available now. Oh. It was on Amazon, sold out. But uh, it's called There to be Shot At. Right, okay. Yeah, my, dad, Good my, title, my, yeah. my, my dad's got the book and he keep, oh, my dad's just finished it actually and he keeps saying, you know, how good it is. So I might have to uh, borrow it off him. Yeah, yeah, listen, oh, you tight git. You tight git. You're not giving this man any money. You tight git. Go and Mark, buy it. Yeah, tight, I can't yeah. believe it, Come mate. on. Mark, Tony needs to feed his family. Come on, just pay the money. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, 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 I'll he lives in Coventry. He lives in Coventry. Come on. Stop it. Stop it, please. He lives in Coventry. And who would you say, oh, Tony, 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 who would you say was the best player you played with at Blues and, and in your whole career as well? Um, with at Blues, um, <clears throat> just pure entertainment-wise, um, then I'd have to say Frank as well. I'd have to say Frank. Just watching him in training... Um, mm. Watch him arrive. We used to get in early, do all our jobs just to just to so we could watch Frank arrive, see what he was wearing that day because um, he was a uh, <clears throat> was a film star, pop star, yeah. soccer star. He had it all rolled into one. He had charisma. He had. I'm glad you uh, didn't carry. Huh? I'm glad you didn't carry that on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like stars. yeah. You had, you had a few, you had well, a few he nights. was as well, Bernie, that, yeah, as well. Um, but sorry, um, t- sorry, Tony, did you have a few nights out with him down the rum runner yeah. and places like that? It's all in the book. I know, I read that. <laughs> <laughs> read, oh, you know what he said? Go you read that page, off, didn't you? Yeah, did, you I bought, that, I... did you read that chapter? <laughs> My, my dad sent me that page in the post. <laughs> <laughs> just, on, just on one page, you tight git. Blame my dad. That's a true story. A, absolute true story, that was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought they were crap. He said they're going to go on to be, um, a, you know, big world stars, and so they did. Yeah. Um, so that's what I knew for music, um, you know. We're talking about Duran Duran, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember him, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a question from Joe Donahoe. He says, I remember being in the lower Witten at B6 and Blues fans were belting out, bleep on the villa, bleep on the villa. And Tony was conducting them. Honest truth. <laughs> great, great, sh- great show as always, lads, you legends. He's talking about me, obviously. Is that true? Can you remember that? Um... Uh, uh, where at Villa Park? Yeah. Oh, 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 filth. So my my charity, by the way, lads, is um, breast cancer and multiple cirrhosis. So, okay. Uh, well done. Um, anyway, uh, quite possibly behind me back yeah. was I yeah. one of them behind me back. I don't know. Quite quite possibly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're probably you're probably just twirling your moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, yeah, what did you think of the blues fans' sense of humour? Um, well, I saw it at its best. Not obviously not when I was playing, but um, the playoff final at Cardiff against Norwich. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I got I got a a, a coach up with the lads from Tamworth, and we went down for the weekend and. Um, just, I mean, it took over Cardiff that weekend. Oh man, yeah. Uh, <laughs> can you believe? Can you believe it's nineteen years ago on Wednesday? I know. Uh, is crazy, it? isn't it? Blown, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I just, I just remember we stayed in the ground, and you know, as as most blue. And I remember we were, so where the dugouts were, we were up to the left a bit along, but we'd come down and come down and. I just remember Steve Bruce spotting me going and pointing at me. <laughs> you know I mean? like, three what was he going, Tony, write a book about it. Three seats. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, that's a good idea. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony, yeah, your done, book is available. Done, it's still available. Pans. Your book's available. Yeah, it's still available. Yeah, I'm I'm in the pans, though, Tony. You know, Listen, like, if any, if any of you are struggling sleeping, get me book. <laughs> <laughs> Make like a nice pillow. On the, on the <laughs> but, uh, I, th- I think we're the funniest fans out ever, right? If, and if somebody has, I don't know, done something, we're brilliant at taking the rip. Yeah, <laughs> we are. <laughs> so I was actually some great songs over kind of here. Who, who, we start, who starts it though? Who starts it? Have you got like Man United have got a guy called, and he he writes all the new songs. He does all the thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name now. Um, and he and there's leaflets go round and all this, so he'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll, there's a section start new songs. No, no. <clears throat> who who was the ones that that when the subs coming on and they announced it? And they, <laughs> 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 who, who started all that then? Who was the one? We, we did. did. <laughs> we did. Yeah. No, no. It was, it was, it was, it was, was Nick Dance who, who got the idea. Yeah, Dance. Yeah. Dance. Yeah. Yeah, there was yeah. some there was some guy that came on. Uh, was it for Crystal Palace? I can't remember. And he came on and he got a really long surname. Mm. And everybody everybody just automatically turned to whoever was next to you and said, "Ooh," yeah. and Dance yeah. must have heard it. And then he read it again, and then we all went, "Ooh," yeah. <laughs> and it's stuck ever since. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. brilliant. Um, so only you remember back in the seventies and um, up the cop. Uh, there was always somebody with an air on, wasn't there? Mm. Well. Um, I've had one blasted in my ear. Oh, it was me. It was mine. I'm sorry. Was it you? <laughs> <laughs> I used to check every week. Yeah, is that you? Well, is that your claim to fame, is it? Yeah. Right. Well, I've, I've, I've blown my air on in Tony Coton's ear. <laughs> but where was you when I got pulled out um, by the air, by the coppers, when we played Leeds in what year would it have been? 80, 84, 85. I've got, I've got <laughs> dragged, no, not 84. It was before I was a player. Oh, right. Okay. Um, no. It would have been late, it would have been 78 ish, possibly 77, 78. I don't know. But I got dragged down by uh, a policeman by my air all the way down the steps. I know that. And I hadn't done anything. <laughs> it got the wrong person. They were a bit I was, always innocent. I was always innocent in everything I did. <laughs> they were a bit brutal back then, though, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Mind no, you, I've said that no, totally. They had a lot to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brenda wants to know where's your hair gone. Oh, I know. Yeah, um, <laughs> you think uh, curly hair <laughs> yeah. in the bottom of the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Next time you have your hair cut, will you pick the chippings up and we'll send them on to Brenda for you? <laughs> no problem, Brenda. Yeah, I had the lovely. The... Brenda's Brenda's lovely. She's Come lovely. on, blues. <laughs> Uh, Nick, I, was like, Nick, um, I was like D'Artagnan in them days. <laughs> there Chris, do you want to do... Stash. Sorry, Tony. Chris, do you want to do the ooh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just before we do that, I mean to say yeah, well done to the ladies as well, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah well for, uh, for, for doing the job. Yeah, good stuff. I'm the under-23s today, 11-1. 11 11-1. 11 yeah. Right, yeah, we're going to 11-1. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, here's the deal. We said if Birmingham City scores six, you've got to do a, a programme in the nude. Oh, yeah. Is that not right? Oh, what a shame. Now, hang on, finished. hang on. We didn't mention the fact that it was the first team. Have a look back on the on that audio. Um, I, I have. Today, it is the first team. Birmingham City. We did say first team. It, I want you to find that audio and I want I'll you to pay it. it to me. I don't make it yourself. I'll find it. Don't make it yourself. Because I think, right, next week for charity, you ought to do the programme in the nude. Bye, mate. Um... <sighs> Good question from Craig for you, Tony. Who's the best goalkeeper you you've ever seen during your career? <laughs> the best goalkeeper I've ever seen. Um, seen or worked with or... So, um, Big Peter Smichael was um, in a different league. So was yeah. Edwin van der Sar um, yeah. to, to, to work with them. Pat was me hero. So, I, you know, I'm trying to not look too far past him. Uh, Gianluigi Buffon was wow. Yeah. was wow. another top top keeper that I saw close close and um, so I, you know that I've been I've been fortunate to see a lot of them. Is there a standout one? Um, 
No, I mean, I think the, the debate really at Man United is still out with Peter and Edwin. Mm. Edwin, Edwin coming at 35 and for five years was magnificent. Hardly made he was. a mistake. Yeah, he was brilliant. Um, but you can't mm. know what Peter Schmeichel did. Um, That's phenomenal, well. Schmeichel was. Yeah. You know, yeah. But, um, so uh, probably close hand it would be those two. Yeah, yeah. So what it we're going to do now is... Sorry, change please. tack in a minute, Paul, when you've done this one, right? And well, uh, I want to start thinking about Bannergate. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that after, yeah. Go yeah, go for it. Fire ahead, Paul. So what we're going to do now, uh, Tony, is we're going to play a clip of someone speaking, um, and we call it who. Um, you have to basically right. guess who, who it is. Um, it's somebody you played with. If you know immediately who it is, or if you think you know who it is, just tell us the first letter of his surname, and then we'll try and get our see if our viewers can get it. Right. Can I ask a question, Paul? Yep. Did somebody Tony's played with at Birmingham? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so, yeah, right, there you go. I think, I think you'll get it straight away. Yeah, yeah shout, shout out, do I, the letter? Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Hello, everybody at the Irish Centre. Just a little message to wish you all well. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope to see you all very soon. All the very best. God bless. Love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye. Sounds like a brummy. Cool. Can we have one more run through? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Here we go. Fire away. Hello everybody at the Irish Centre. Just a little message to wish you all well. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope to see you all very soon. All the very best. God bless. Love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's the way he says love. It's like a love you. Love. I think I know it, you know. So. I and I say. played with you. Love you lots. You know, Some people do know who it is. Obviously mm. on here. I've got it already. <laughs> Does it begin with V? Yes. It's huh? There. It's there. Yeah. It's, it's there. Yeah. It's there. It's there. It's there. Let's see if anybody else gets it on the um on the show. No, so. there's not many players with V, is there? So I would have thought that, that no. that's funny. No. <laughs> it's not uh, Virgil van. It's not Virgil uh, van Dijk. Paul. Paul. <laughs> Are we talking? I the think. Same I think. I think. I think I know it, Paul. Actually, and and he didn't used to give many interviews at all, from yeah. what I remember. Yeah. Does his surname uh, begin with V? Yes. Speaking to, mm, no. nobody's, nobody's actually commenting. So I, don't you, know, huh? I don't know if anyone knows because there's no comments coming in unless my uh, everyone's, speed everyone's comes down. Everyone's stunned. No. It's yeah. the world still, ain't it? Mark's got it. Mark, uh, Mark Brooks has got it straight away. And, there we um, go, then. Oh, yeah. God, I can't think of anybody. We're beginning with V. Did he... Did he... Can I, shall I give a clue out? Yeah. 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 When we beat Southampton at the Dell... We had to win to stay up. It was where, where we had to, it was the last game of the season at the Dell. We won 1 0. Mick Arthur scored. Yeah. Robert Hopkins got the header and Shilton saved it. Mick Arthur put the rebound in. Did he cross the ball? Ah, there's one for you. Read my book. Is it in the book? <laughs> <laughs> People have got it. People have got it anyway. It's yeah. Pat Van Der Naan. Pat Van Der Naan. Yeah. Oh, Pat Van Der Naan. Yeah. There you are. See, yeah. it was the love. Yeah. Yeah. He's oh, a total. Although, yeah. although, although born in Belgium, raised in London, you, there was still a Cockney twang in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, a, what, that's what threw me at the start, but then I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Strange yeah. accent that was, wasn't it? Very strange. That was one of the quickest ones ever, wasn't it? Most of them were really yeah. struggle. Yeah. 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 Um, Nick, uh, Brenda's asked, "Are we doing the show after, when the th when the season's finished? When which is finished now?" Listen, if anything important goes on, Brenda, we'll let you know. Um, obviously, uh, we're, we're going to talk about that banner and, and one thing or another in a second. But Brenda, rest assured, if anything big happens, we will rally the troops. We'll put it out on the Tilt and Talk page, and uh, we'll get together and we'll, we 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 could literally put something together in five minutes sometimes. Um, so it, it's it's all dependent on on you know uh, developments and happenings. But we did do it now, all the way through, didn't we? So you know, and and don't forget, Brenda, you're you're in for a bag of uh, of Tony's hair. <laughs> I, what you're do. I wouldn't say a bag; it would be a small bag now. <laughs> <laughs> a doggy bag. Matt, a live show. Uh, matchbox. <laughs> Into the last fifteen minutes of the last but one show we go, ladies and gentlemen. Who have we got guesting next week, Chris? Please. Uh, uh, Craig will tell me in a, in a bit because I okay, cool. 
And uh, today, what I want you to do with a bit of word associations, anything you would find in a sweet shop, anything you'd find in a sweet shop, sweet shop. and football, anything you'd find in a sweet shop and oh, football, okay. a sweet shop and football. Here we go. Make me laugh, ladies and gentlemen, because I have had the worst migraine tonight I've had for a very long time, and I've probably struggled, so I really need to have a good laugh now. Oh, okay. uh, this is a mad 15 minutes, uh, Tony, where we just get people to come out with comedic things, oh, and my, they never, ever, ever ever let us down do they chris no 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 uh, by the right, way nick, next, next week next week first nick nick next week next yeah, week go. it's uh tom ross, tom ross. Oh, yeah, mate, tom ross. Tom. Super. what a way to finish that season that we've just done which has been a year and a bit long um we've gone all through the covid and we finished with uncle tom mm. beautiful yeah, beautiful fantastic right okay so go on. Uh, it's, it's it's a little bit of a shame that we haven't got the, the guys from West Midlands Police on tonight because they'd probably be able to answer the questions a little bit more than, than than I would. Now, we've all seen the banner, right? I ain't got a clue put it up. I don't care. I don't want to know. It doesn't bother me, right? It doesn't bother me. But there were, there were words on there which, you know what, I kind of find humorous because that's my warped sense of humour. Yeah. Uh, but then when I sit and think about it, should we, shouldn't we, should we, shouldn't we? I don't know. It's going to be a contentious one, this one. Um, I think this is what they talked about, you see. They did talk about it's how you perceive, perceive it. How it? you see it personally. Now, yeah. look, Chris, you know me. You know me. You see my comedy on Facebook, mate. And I yeah, do it's it rubbish. All, you do, I do it all the time, right? <laughs> and I, I only do it to try and make people laugh or smile, in, you mm -hmm. know, in these horrible times that we're in at the moment. Yeah? Wrong with that. yeah. Genuinely, genuinely wouldn't post anything to personally offend anybody. And I mean that, Steve. I mean it, right? But I'd love to laugh. Mm. There's nothing better in life than laughing. Now, was this a racist comment or was it just a joke? And if, and if and it, I don't know, are, are we... Well, it's meant as a, it's meant as a joke. But, I mean, We've got uh, too far. But, but that opinion. doesn't mean that it is a joke. No, and, and if it... And I'll relate this back to the Jippo chant that we do last mm. week, yeah? Mm. And I didn't realise that that could offend somebody. Never thought about it. Never even crossed my mind no, that no, that could no. offend somebody. Or it will make somebody feel a little bit cringeworthy. I don't think it offended the lad. But he was really know, but, not yeah, yeah. pointed out, and I'm really glad he pointed it out as well. Yeah, yeah it might have offended now, me. <clears throat> Paul, in your opinion, was that a racist slur or just something think... wrong? I think, to be honest, it was, I mean, it was just a rhyming slang for the way, you know, for, for I, I don't think it was intent, I don't think the intent was racism at the beginning mm. when they put it together. I oh. think you have to think about, you have to think about all the other banners that they've done as well, which I do support. And, mm. you know, yeah. we all want, we all do, we do all want dong out of the club, but yeah. mm. there is a line yeah. that you have to think about. And I just don't think it was thought about Probably properly, wasn't thought but at the same out, time, no. I don't think the intent was, was to be racist at all. Though, I, still, I, 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 I genuinely mean that. Mm. But then when, when the who has now gone up and I sit and think about it, well, could that offend somebody? Perhaps, I don't know. I mean, look, there's nobody gets a rip taken out of our accent more than a brummy does. Nobody. Mm. Right? I apart, think whoever, I, I, apart I from if you're in it, Liverpool. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think it defines that group at all. You know, I, I don't think one banner defines that group. I think they've done a, a hell of a lot of work. Genuinely, Paul, into... I genuinely don't even know the group. Right? I saw the banner and I thought, you know what? This is either going to be perceived as a little bit of comedy or it's going to blow up. Mm. And it's blown up. And I, I understand the club statement and I get that, right? And I get it. And I'm 100% behind that. And I would hate to offend anybody, certainly on this show or certainly on my own personal social networks. I'd hate to offend anybody. But if you tell a joke about a man with one leg, that's taking the rip out of, out of the whole of the one-legged community, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Nick, Nick, I think what, what, Nick. One of the oh. other thing was one of the other things yeah. was was how the, um, the the group responded when they were told mm -hmm. to take the banner down. How they responded to other Blues fans. I think that was one of the uh, main talking points as well. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. well, there you go. But you know what? I'm, I'm putting my honest pennies worth in here, Chris, and I mean it. I see, I see, I see, I see how the club have perceived it, right? But I see that it was probably done tongue in cheek. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. I think, you know, we've all, got to be, we've all got to be savvy, right? And sometimes tongue in cheek can hurt. Mm. Uh, mm. And, and you know what? 
there's nobody quicker than me. If you, if you, I've, I've always got a rhetorical thing to say to you, always, always. I'm boom, boom, boom. I'm, I've said it before. Me head's thought about it. Mm. And I, and I, and I, and I personally, I probably could offend some people, and I, I never want to do that. All I mm. want is a laugh, mm. just just a laugh out of people, make them smile. Yeah. yeah. Nick, shall we but move? Do, shall we move? Up, should we it. move up? Should we move on? Yeah. yeah. Let's move on. Have a laugh. Mm. Okay. Sweet shot. Then Chris, what have uh, you got? Uh, Glenn Murray Mint. Oh. Hey. Lots of chocolate. Hot no. no, please don't do that one again. Chris Marsden. Oh, very Decent good. Very Alan good. Mint. <laughs> cotton, cotton candy. Oh, Tony, cotton candy. <laughs> That's been so far for me. No flake. <laughs> no flake. <laughs> no flake. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> chocolate. Yes, literally gone. Out of chocolate bar. <laughs> Paper Bob Diop. Don't know that one. Barry What's Fr- that one? Barry, Barry Fries. <laughs> can we have um, Can we have Gob Stopper? <laughs> Gob Stopper, <laughs> yeah. There uh, is, yeah so. Oh, another Tony Cotton Candy. Ian Jelly Bennett. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Barry Fries Chocolate Cream. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Kenny, oh my God. no, I can't have that one. Uh, Revels Morrison. Oh God, that's, oh, yeah. that's a good one. That is. I like that. tears to my underpants, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> right, what was that one, Chris? I missed it. <laughs> Revels Morrison. Oh. <laughs> Arch, I'm Archie, crying. I'm crying. <laughs> Archie Gemmel Kibar. <laughs> 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 Overall, unnecessary. Oh, <laughs> oh it's uh, uh, yeah. uh, J- oh, Jamie, oh Jamie Caramel. Oh, <laughs> Jelly Hibbit. Jelly Hibbit. Oh. Yeah, Chris. Mark over Mars. Oh, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Mars Bowenan. Yes. Mars Bowenan, yeah. <laughs> Harry uh, Sugar Cane. Oh, I can't breathe. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, as a goal trying to finish coach, Nick off. It was a. <laughs> As a goalkeeper coach, who was the best goalkeeper coach you ever actually, who ever coached you in your career? Um, to be fair, it, it weren't until late on in, in my career that I had one. Um, they weren't really um, around then. I mean, to the point that I was Man United's first one in um, 90, 98, 97, 98. That was the first one they did, a full time one. They'd had one. Um, one morning a week, Alan Hodgkinson. So I think I'd had Od- Alan Hodgkinson a few a few times. Uh, I'd had him a couple of sessions at Birmingham. Um, I'd had him at Watford. Um, I would probably say uh, Eric Steele was probably the best one I I had. Um, you know, just for. <laughs> The content of his coaching, the, what was in it, what was how it was structured. Um, you know, so it weren't just about drilling; it was um, about actual coaching. And um, um, you know, would look back and and you having a hot flush, pal? <laughs> when, when he gets to his age, you know what I mean. Not right here, go. I've just had to go to the loo because I'm doing really weak myself. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a bucket like I've got down here. Yeah? I know. Come on. Too much information, <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> uh, Paul Bryant on, on YouTube says Frank Wertherstone. Oh, uh, Mark yeah. Collins says no, Bubble no. Bubble Deop. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jer- Jerry Till. Oh, golly. Uh, Chris, Chris, Dov, to Gary. <laughs> Super John, calm, Karen McCarthy. <laughs> oh, golly. You know what? Rodney Marshmallow. Yeah. Rodney Marshmallow. <laughs> another, quick, another quick question, Tony. What would you say was the best goal you ever conceded? <coughs> oh, he's, yeah, the one. Here all night. he's the, he's the one. That's <laughs> got to be the worst one. <laughs> That's got to be the worst one, hasn't it? Surely, yeah. <laughs> uh, the best, the, I think the best goal... Um, um, playing for Watford, I think Kenny Dalglish. Okay, uh, it was a uh, last game of the season at Anfield. Um, it finished four three to Liverpool, and it was just the way I forget who passed the ball into him. Just the way he received it, it was a little bit Dennis Burkampish uh, yeah. against Newcastle. 
he played it one side, ran round the other, come inside somebody else, and then hit it right in the far top corner, and it went right in the angle. Okay. He's a hell of a player, isn't he? Dalgley, yeah, so. no, I, Dennis Burkham, Holland. where was he from? Huh? Well, which country was he from? Holland. Holland, yeah, Dutch. It was a Holland. Dutch yeah. Dennis yeah. Burkham. He was, a, he, yeah, he was a bit like Burkham, wouldn't it? Against like, against Newcastle when he scored that yeah, one. Yeah, that's why. That's what I was. I was, um, you know, sort of putting it up against. It was very similar to that, uh, to the point where that was the winner. Yes, I felt like clapping him. You know what I mean? It was that <laughs> yeah. good of, of a yeah. finish. The all yeah. round, the build up with the play, Liverpool um, of the of the eighties, uh, knocking it about, brilliant. This, that, and the other, and then just the final phase of it was, and the execution was different. Have that. you ever, Tony, either clapped or said well done to somebody who's put a goal in the pasture? Ooh, uh, good question. Not, no, I have done after, but I haven't done when uh, when. Right. <clears throat> you know, maybe walking off and saying what a finish that was, mm. or you know, mm. yeah, mm. you're right, pal. Is it paramedics on stand? <laughs> well, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, I've got, I've got the winner. I've got the winner. I've got, I've got the winner as well. I've got the winner here, Nick. Um, Go on, man. Uh, oh. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Terry's butcher chocolate orange. <laughs> 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 Tim Faraday, Tim Faraday, our actor friend who was on the other week, um, yeah. said best keeper we've ever had at Blues. Keep right on, Tona. Definitely. Oh, nice one. Nice right. message. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the only, I mean, we, we're drawing to a close now, I think. Yeah, yeah we're, we're right at the end now. Nick's going to. Why, do you uh, want to go? I always, I always, when we went to the centenary dinner at. Um, Oh, the big centre in Birmingham, I can't remember what. The ICC, was it? Yeah. Yeah. There. And we got interviewed. Um, I don't know whether it was Blues TV or, or whatever. And me and Mick got interviewed. And Mick said something that night and and really took the words out of my uh, mouth, really. He said, they said to him, um, what did it mean? Um, was there any regret? And he said it, it, it wasn't long enough for him. At Blues, uh, mm. you know, and I was of the same opinion. I think I played hundred in all the games. It was one hundred and fourteen games for me. Um, and when Ron Saunders called me in and said, "Look, Watford," have, did they tell you you had to go, Tone? Or was yeah, it yeah. So he yeah, called me yeah. and said that, that they needed the money. And I think that was the exodus. Then I think Blakey. Blakey went, didn't he? Blakey yeah. went, I went, Mick went to Luton, uh, this, that, and the other. Pat Van went to Everton. Yeah. Um, so it was a it, it was sort of the, the breakup. Um and I've always had that, I've always had that feeling. I wanted to play longer, I wanted to break into the 200 appearances for blues. That's what it meant to me. And I always had that dream of coming back and playing, and it never happened. Yeah. yeah. Do you, so, to, sorry, Tone. Do you ever think he'd debut even now, all these years later? Do you still sort of have a moment where you just sit back and then just think of, you know, think of it all? Um, well, I do when I've got the plate on the car, but um, I'm waiting for a car to come at the minute so we can put it on. And I look out the window and it just reminds me of that, uh, uh, of that day. You know, mm. there's so many things, you know, you, 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 I don't know where you go, lads, when you can't sleep, but, this, you know, I, 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 Certainly, go back over my football and things. Oh, that... When I, when to be honest, Tom, when I can't sleep, I normally read your book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a brutal! <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. There's no. That's one less book to send out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Tony hasn't even borrowed it off his dad yet, mate. He's got his dad's bathrobe on. <laughs> yeah. <that's it>. yeah. <laughs> Craig's, um, Chris, Craig's asking, can we also um, just promote the charity event as well? Oh, well, the football card, yeah, as well. Oh, that's right, yeah. We've got we've got a new card going as well, yeah, to win a, uh, a nicely signed um, uh, shirt. Uh, all the details are on our page, if you can have a look. It's £2 to go or £5 for three goes? It is. Yeah. I believe. Well, yeah. here we go. We've come to the end of the evening. You know what, again... Oh, man, this has been manic because we could have just gone on oh, all night. So Tony, quick question for you before so we do much. leave. Yeah. 
When was the last time you actually walked onto the pitch at St Andrews? Um, oh, it's. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest. I turned yep. it down the last time I was there because it was throwing it down and I was only in a job. <laughs> <in a thing. laughs> so they said, would you come out and, uh, you know, I, I, I was, well, it was a draw or something. I said, I ain't going out in that, no chance. <laughs> okay, said, what are we going to do, mate? And is it Brenda or Barbara with the barnet? Who keeps Brenda. 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 And as Brenda would appreciate... You know, with me locks, I would have looked. I would have looked to drown rat if I'd have got this wet. So, <laughs> right, what we're um, going to do, matey? Because I know Paul Devlin's been listening again tonight, and he's organised it for Robbie Savage when the season kicks in with all the fans back. Please, Paul Devlin, can you organise to get Tony Coton on the pitch so that we can show him just how much we appreciated? And I know some of the youngsters didn't see him play, but you know, us older gets did. And you know what? You, sir, are a club legend. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. Yeah. Oh, Devlin, down to you, my friend. Down to you. Nick, the, the, the signed shirt is from the. Uh, I've just seen it, and it's. I've lost it. Oh, six oh oh six oh seven season. Yeah, yeah, six oh six oh seven. Promotion yeah. season, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nicholas, Nicholas Bentner, and Mwamba, and so oh. on. Oh. Oh, okay, so God. we've gone over. Jeffrey. Nick, so there we go. Far away, Nick. Wow. This has been the Tilton Talk Show, sponsored by Bull Sports, and of course, in conjunction with Accessi Blues, the Blues Trust, our good friends at the Garrison Copy Company, and of course, the Bordsley Labour Club. <sighs> wow. What a season it's been. What a guest list we've had. And we're going to talk it off next week, ladies and gents, with Tom Ross. And that is also going to be a cracker. But you know what? Again tonight, again tonight, I was thinking, Great what job. questions can we ask Tony Cota? But this has just flowed naturally, and this is how we do it week in and week out. And I'm and I'm so glad we can do it like this, right? Because we don't have set scripts or or anything written down or or, or what have you. This is just natural talking to people. But Tony, you you're a blues fan through and through. You've been on the cop. You've been in the tilt, and you've played for the club. Oh, if you can get me to just flip one burger one day and just get, I don't know, even if it's just a free <laughs> pacelet with, with Birmingham City on it. I want my name on a pacelet with Birmingham City on it. That's my goal for my museum, right? We've got one more week to go, lovelies. And this has been the Talk Talk Show, as I say, you know, and wow, 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 wow. We could have gone on all night again. Much thanks to our fan cam tonight. Our, uh, what, what's, the, what's the gentleman's name? Steve. Jobby. No, 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 no. The fan cam man. Steve Jobs. Steve no. Jobs. No, who we've nominated to be the fan cam man. Oh, Leighton oh, Webster. Webster. Leighton Webster fan cam. That's all. Yes. Yes. The Leighton fan cam man. Steve Job, absolutely brilliant, mate. Well done. Woo, woo, uh, look woo. forward to seeing you down the Tilton Road when we're in bar eight, mate, when we're all open and, uh, and rocking and rolling again. Keep right on. Thanks for having me on anyway, lads. So. I, I see you behind you, mate. coming on, mate. I think you ought to switch the view off now and show us what your room actually does look no, like. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. It's just a mirror behind. You're okay. <laughs> just, very, just, very, just very, very quickly from me, I'll put Steve's 1-11 to 11 up as well, but just so that you know, Tony, you're in goal in Steve's 1-11 to 11 as well for all-time Blues Whoa. 11. Steve, top man. Yeah. Steve. 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 Yeah. Read us that 1-11. Yes, Go quick, because we've really got to go. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. TC in goal. Martin Granger left back. Yep. Gary Ablett left centre-half. Colin yep. Todd. David yeah. Langan, Stan Lazaridis, oh. Mark Ward, Kevin Dillon, Trevor Francis, yeah. Frank Worthington, Mikel oh. Forster. Well, what can I say? What can I say? What a thing. That's been Steve Job, ladies and gentlemen, well, on Fan Camp tonight. Well done, and thanks for joining in with us, mate, giving you time up. Also, a great thanks to the one and only Mr. Mark Adams, aka Mr. Robe. Stay safe, everybody. Have a good week. Look after and yourself. Yeah, mate, well done. Keep working hard for the NHS, mate, and we're all proud of you, sunshine. And our good friend, the one and only Mr Sheen, it's the one and only Paul Hipkiss. Thank you, everyone. Good night, all. God bless you, mate. Take care. Have a great week, Paul. And from Mrs Brown. Good evening. Goodbye. From myself, good night. God bless. Keep right on, guys. And we'll see you back here next week with Tom Ross. But our last message of the night is going to come from the legend that is Tony Coton. Good night, everyone. Merry Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) have a good one too (laughs) buy my book don't forget the book don't forget the book (laughs) goodbye all God bless and take care see you next Monday cheers guys we're so happy